Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can make this kind of neon text animations in Adobe After Effects using Saber plugin which is free to download. So hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any ado let's begin today's video. So here we are in After Effects now let's start this by creating a new composition. So click on this new composition, come to this preset options, here I will be selecting this HD1080 which is a full HD resolution with a frame rate of 30 and duration of 6 seconds, hit ok. So now let's enter text, so further click on this type tool and input your text, so here I will be giving this neon text only and let me place this text at the center, so for that we need to come to this align tool, if you are not finding this tool here go to this window and enable align from here, ok. So let me place it at the center okay nice so now select this layer come to this layer options create and select this create mask from text so we got mask created of our text so now let me select this text layer and we can delete that one okay so now select this layer come to this effects and presets panel if you're not finding this panel here go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for saber so saber is a free plugin download link in the description Select this saver and drop it onto this layer here, okay. So now come to this customize core, core type change it to layer mask. And from presets, you can select any of the preset you like. So here I will be selecting this neon. And also I will reduce the glow intensity to 35, nice. So scroll down, come to this alpha mode in render settings. Change this to mask core, so that we will get only mask, nice. Or else let me reduce this to 30, okay, fine. So now beyond the first frame, add a keyframe for this mask evolution by clicking on the stopwatch kind look and also add a keyframe for this start offset and for end offset and change this end offset value to 0, nice. So now move forward in timeline like 2 seconds, ok. So now change this start offset value to 75 and move to the last frame and change this mask evolution value to 1. So if I play this will get this kind of animation here and also let me change this end size value to 0 so that we will get this thin end line here nice so now let me duplicate this layer here by pressing ctrl plus d or else go to this edit option and duplicate nice so we need to change the blend mode of this above layer so come to this mode options and change this to add if you are not finding this mode here click on this toggle switches you will get that okay so now select this above layer and color i will change this to blue you can change whichever color you like okay so now select both the layers press u on the keyboard for keyframes okay so now let me bring it here a bit and let me change the keyframe of this one to this third second so now if i play this we'll get both colors visible here nice so now select both these layers, right click, recompose, ok. So move all attributes and hit ok. So again duplicate this pre-composite layer. So ctrl plus D or else go to this edit, duplicate. So now let me rename this as reflections. So let me select it and rename as reflections here. And also let me move it below to this layer. So again we need to change the mode to add, ok fine. So we got our text and reflections here, nice. So now let me import a grunge image onto this project panel. So right click, import select your file or else you can directly drag and drop that onto this project panel. So now let me drop this again onto this timeline. So here I got this grunge image downloaded from Google. So let me increase the scaling of this or else right click, transform, fit to comp here, okay. So now we need to make this in black and white. So for that we need to apply tint color. So let me apply tint onto that. So search for tint and apply tint here. And let me search for contrast. So select this brightness and contrast. Apply it on the same layer. And now let me decrease the brightness here a bit. And let me increase the contrast. Okay. okay. So now right click pre-compose this one and move all attributes so this one I will rename as base and hit ok 
So click on this toggle switches, make it as 3D layer. So now press R on the keyboard and let me place this here like this and let me bring it here. And also let me place this reflections layer above to our base layer and bring it and let me increase the scaling in this area and also in this side okay nice so we can hide out this base layer now select this reflections layer come to this effects and presets once again and look for compound blur select this compound blur and drop it onto this reflections layer okay so in blur layer select the base okay and now we can increase this maximum blur value so that you can see we got this cool looking reflections here nice so if i play this once again we can see we got our neon text animation completed in adobe after effects using saber plugin so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye